Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play King's Bounty Crossworlds with no fair fight! And we're fighting dragons. That is something we should not do. Because dragons are not our specialty. Um, however, we'll try our best. Dragons are immune to damage, are oh, they? And so this will not, well, this will hit the dragons because it's physical damage. Um, I would be more glad if we could do something else. What do we have as enemies? Potion makers. Okay, so we'll do the following. Up. We'll open up with a little group of piranhas just to soften the enemy up. This will also destroy the explosives. Kabushta. Then we'll follow up with a black hole because that hits dragons as well. Beautiful! And the dragons are out. Um, then we'll follow up with a little crash dive, taking out all the alchemists. Excellent! And then... Uh, this is not going to help. That is not Bone Dragons 9. That is just beautiful. Excellent. That's just what we wanted. I think we're okay. Go a little bit forward and fire at the robots. The robots might be a problem because of the enormous firepower these things have, at least theoretically. We hold our position. 1,000. Ooh, not as much damage as you might think they should do. But we keep firing on the robots because they are the threat. Nice, 4,000 gold is always welcome. Um, we should, however, concentrate a little bit on getting all the chests. Beautiful. We're not doing a lot of damage to the robots though, even though we do magical damage and that normally does extra damage. It was however enough. And since we don't have to cast stone skin every time, we can just concentrate on getting what we want the most. And that, of course, is all the chests. So here we go. Yeah, they will take some time to take them down. We can use our time to make their life miserable. Not too much, though. Let's wait. You fly over here and get the chest. Nice, only gold. That is not that nice. He will, of course, get closer because uh, that's their idea of combat. And we have our beloved traps to take care of them. The range of the Demologist is the only thing. I love the Demologist as a unit, but the range is really terrible. The range does not make me happy. I think we have everything here. So I think there is only one monster left down here. Let's drive on here and get these guys. Little gobos. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Um, yeah, no time to waste. Can I hit you really hard? I think I can. Beautiful. Let's shackle these guys, keep them from doing stupid, and get some friends. Hooray! Very bad choice, sir. This will not do a lot of damage. Oh, it does, because it's determined not by him, but by the um, number of orcs or goblins available, and that's a lot. And you could really do me a favor and stop doing that. Thank you. Okay, we will fire on that thing because that is a threat to our endeavors. You take their lives and replenish them. Beautiful. Now the question is, where are the chests? Oh, that is a bad position for a chest because um, whatever we will do, that will stop us from getting the chest. That is bad. The only thing that could take the chest without um, 
The chance of damage itself would be a soaring unit for fireflies, for example, or ghosts. Um, beholders, those are the enemies that do not activate chests, uh, traps. But there is no way in here, so the only unit who can do that would be a flying unit. Ah, shush. This will be hard, and we'll be running out of time, because this dude here will kill everyone. Very, very quickly. The only thing that is possible is that he is trying to get closer to us, and we'll just move forward. Let's get some rage. I really love those demons. The demons are great. This always counterattack is a two-edged sword, but I like it. I personally like it very, very much. Um, what we can try is to call in nature. Like this. If we get lucky... No. If we get lucky... Um, now that was maybe a little bit dumb, because there is the chance that that thing will simply um, kill it. If we go for the ghosts, that will not help us. Screw this guy. Please stop killing people, thank you, sir. Let's move very, very carefully. You will hold your horses, you will hold your horses. You will get me some ghosts. Maybe it'll work, but I'm not sure. Oh, perfect. Thank you, sir. A sheep roll, that is always useful. Just get rage. The only reason um, we would try to prolong the battle is to get more rage, but the point is, um, no matter what we do, we'll be out of rage um, when we find the last enemy, because I think there is no one left down here, so the only enemy uh, still on this island is the guy on the boat um, upstairs, so I think this is all cleared, right? Because this is the canal, and this is the end of the canal. This was not even completed. Ah, shush. No matter. We did good. We did good. It's time to change armies anyways. Uh, what were you selling in times of army? Yeah, no help. Wait, 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 wait. Um, Dragon Slayer and Phoenix... We could build a Dwarven army with the um, Giants, but we're not that good in that regard, right? You've got even more Giants. Theoretically speaking, we have an item that reduces the overall cost of Dwarves. That is this thing here. But that would be an army of Engineers. We could get a dwarf here as a companion. Um, she's not talking to us, which is a shame. And there is nothing we can do with the machine. I don't think there is a way to make her talk. There is, I think, in the uh, other King's Bounty, there is the exact same lady. And she uh, can be talked to and she can be made to trade. But I don't see that happening here. He's selling dwarves and engineers. He's selling miners. No help to us, though. That is not a building that is already visited. He's not selling anything that we use. We go up in the air. This has already been taken. So the only thing we can do is kill the last guy on the ship. He 
You're not selling anything? No. Nah. Okay. Let's find that last enemy here and clear him off. Not much enemy left in the end. Well, the elves are complete there and the lizards are complete there. Everyone else is pretty much dead. Let's see what this guy has to offer. Okay, we don't move because these are assassins. If we move, they stab us in the back. That's what they're good in. We don't want that to happen. Uh, we should in any case... Ah, oh, crap. And now I have something in my back. Ha ha ha. However, not that problematic because we can make a copy of ourselves here. And we're protected. Nice. And then we'll just let it rain on them with a good old black hole. Yes, sir. That hurt. Not as much as it should, but enough. We hold our horses. We hold our horses. Okay, that was uh, quite a move. Sheeping people is especially dangerous when you have this assassins on the field. Because, of course, they can do terrible stuff to us. But we're doing great. Everything's fine. The demon will be doing all the work. And we'll just be, you know, standing by. Hopefully collecting some treasure chests. Ooh, problematic. Because all the chests are on the opposite battlefield side. Um, however, I think I have a solution for that one. Rise, uh, don't rise fire. You will rise the undead because you might be rising more. And you will be moving a little bit forward and firing on these guys. Okay, I'm not doing as much damage as I hoped I would. This little buggers here are a problem. Because that is a hell of a lot of them. Uh, he's not yet in biting range, but... Initiative is reduced by one. Okay. Um, we will be firing on... No, if we fire on them, we'll lose troops. We cannot afford that to happen. You get the treasure chest. Good work. I want another dragon chest. Here. And then it should totally de sheep that guy because he's pretty much sure to make something stupid. Beautiful. Ah, oh, come on. I warn you, Mr. Sheep, don't go forward. If you will go forward, bad things will happen. Oh, he's placed himself between me and the chest. That is pretty bad. Okay. Ghosts. Cannot fire on this guy unless... Oh, there is no more chest to get, so what we can do is just... Kick the guy. No, we're not kicking the guy. We're hat-banging the guy. Because that will push him away. And we can start firing on him. And then... We will put him to sleep. This should give us the time... ...to get all the treasure chests we need. Oh, don't, 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 don't! You're stupid. I hate you. Like, pretty much. Just blind him again. Thank you. Don't do anything. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. He will not be able to reach the chest, right? Or maybe? It's flying. It's five. Yes, it's just enough to get 4,000 gold. 
This would be enough to kill him. However, we're close to... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Just kill it. Yay! The pirate is dead. And we have complete control over this island. Isn't that beautiful? There should be no one left. I mean, there's theoretically the possibility that someone is cruising that fast at the same um, speed that I am or a little bit slower in the same direction I am and I'm never going to catch him, but that is unlikely. So, Umkus is empty. Mentro is, M M Montero is empty. Rusty Anchor is empty. Um, our island is empty. Scarlet Wind is empty. Deber is empty. Bolo is empty. Shatera is empty. Dersu is empty. Usala is empty. Elon is still someone there. And Nameless is empty. And Riha is still someone there. That leaves us with Usala. I'm pretty sure. Is there everyone dead there? I think there is everyone dead there. I'm not entirely sure. Did I buy all the items? I'm pretty sure I didn't buy all the items. Why didn't I buy all the items? Oh crap, there's still enemies here. I've not done my job. That is the Temple of Joy. We could buy ourselves goblins, right? Do we want to buy goblins? We could make a perfect goblin army with her. But we don't have a lot of good orc items. That is also a fact. But there's still a lot of guys here that we can fight. You're ungrateful. Is there anyone else? No, there, there is not. No matter what we talk now, it will have no effect. Well, we get 11,000 coins. Not that that makes any difference. And she's totally happy about him. He killed Bronto fast and eats all my beans and fried rats. You know, that's what he's good in. Eating stuff and not working. Great. So, do we really want to fight all kinds of gobos now with this army? We have not yet visited that, but it will cost or would cost us a crystal. This guy is here, can join you, this orc, as a companion. And, um, hmm, not sure we want him. There's a catapult guy with dragons. This army is not ideal for fighting goblins and orcs and all that. Let's have a quick look at these guys. Dislike demons. But we don't have the adrenaline feed, so we're not good at demon demon stuffy things. It's not gonna cut it. They have no weaknesses to anything, so to fire or anything, no. They're just average in this regard. We should really go for the demon stuff. Why did we equip that? Pretty sure we can equip something better. I think that was to get the mask under control. I was not, but we were not carrying this, were we? Critical chance for demons. He's not carrying any... He cannot carry any weapon. 
But in order to make the demon stuff really work, we need this. However, if we just want to get the undead working, it would be this item. This helmet. Which is a shame because that's a pretty good helmet. This armor, uh, this boots. The armor is okay. We can use that to get more um, hypnosis, but that is not going to cut it. We don't need that. We could go for this for more resistance, but this is only 5% and this is 10% and bonus to defense. Um, we could switch that out, but honestly, that is a really, really good um, dress. If we just go for resistance, that might be an idea. It's not going to help. I thought we had more items for undead. The sword of light. The ray of light. Inquisitor's blade. Well, we can desecrate that. To make it um, plus five defense of undead troops. Is that worth it? I don't think so. We don't have the Orgri sandals. That would give us 2,500 leadership. And we can make an Orgri giant army. But I'm not sure that is very effective. Well, we can have Orgris, Orgri commanders, and giants. The giants will hate the undead with the necromancers. But that aside, that would be a pretty effective army. I mean, no, no benefits in any form uh, in terms of leadership. But they will hit like a truck. But on the other hand, I'm not in the hit them like a truck business. But it would save us from the problem of um, using only... We, we, we would only need one weapon, and that is this one here. And 2,500 leadership is 10%. It's like a 10% decrease or cost reduction. So it could be worse. And we can keep our mask, which is also nice. The Splinter of Darkness is a funny thing. That Splinter of Darkness can be gained from the Companion, from the Undead Knight. So either we go the Undead Tree and get ourselves um, the, the Undead Army and the Undead Equipment, or we go for the Demon stuff and get ourselves the Demon Army. Well, we'll see what I take over. Just kill everyone here that normal way. Well, see you all then. Bye.